Let's get. Oh, let me fix my Baja. Real shit here. Real shit. All right, so before I start talking, this video is going to be all over the place, but I need to celebrate. Celebrate and like my nerves are bad. <laughs> because for real, for real, and for y'all that know me, no, I always keep everything raw and I share everything. But I'm sharing everything in my timing this time. And, well, it's actually not even my time. I think that's why I'm tripping. Because, cheers to me for the new adventure that's about to come up. I can't say anything just yet. Um, but yeah, so there's one reason I had to do the video early and for two, I guess it's just time to share with y'all. Who knows if I'm going to make it another week or when God's going to call us. And I always like to share things before, um, I leave this earth. So let me take a sip and let's, I guess, dive into it. Ooh, that's one thing I haven't been drinking, um, since I've had So your girl Shatima R is here. Let me just start over because I'm just like, I'll tell you all over the place. All right, you guys. So hello to those that do not know me. My name is Shatima R, Shatima Ruffin, a.k.a. Um, I do background work, TV work, food network um, is where you may know me from some of you guys. It's been a few years, but I was on two different shows on there and I won one of the shows. Worst Cooks in America and um, Thanksgiving Redemption, where I won. All right, so what I want to talk to you about today is your girl had surgery. What did I have done? I had a tummy tuck and lipo done. And hopefully I'm over enough. Let me move because, you know, I'm always posting pictures either here or here. Hopefully there's enough space for me to do that. So um, what I want to talk to you about is I got surgery done. I got surgery done about two months ago. We're going to put that date at October the 15th, 2021. Um, I went in surgery at 200 pounds and then I came, well, not even came out. But today when I got on scale, I was 178. I mean, I look like I'm 178 because you swell so bad. And my doctor, shout out to Dr. Kaplan, Sana Bello, Norfolk, Virginia, snatched me the hell up. He snatched me so, um, so much, my JJ is still swollen. Like, I can look in there and see my girl finally now because my fupa is gone. <laughs> but I'm still so swollen. And they say that you swell um, like even up to six months and then you'll see your full results in a year. But I will say that I am super happy already with my results. Um, it's, it's been a crazy, crazy, crazy journey. And I want to shout out my wife, my best friend, my mom, like my support system, my Nana, um, monetarily, your time, you need to have people that are going to be there for you and hold you down. Um, not just with the massages, but with people with the roller coaster, um, helping you out, like even just getting out the shower or fixing you food and, me being dizzy a lot because my newfound metabolism, because your girl was so damn fat, she didn't have metabolism. So after you got surgery, everything changes inside of you, and um, it's it's a mess. It's, it's, it's a lot of things that go into it, but I will say, for those that haven't heard of Sona Bello, the main reason I went there is because you do not get put under. It was so, so very important to me to not get put under anesthesia and you know, the scariest thing is people don't know if they're going to wake up. So for me, my wife, um, my family, the best decision was for me to go there. And I actually was up the whole time and I didn't feel anything. Like, they give you some drugs to make you woozy <laughs> or whatever. But I was high, like, the whole time. And I even went to Boston Market right after surgery to get me something to eat um, so I could take the pain pills when I got home. And I was bleeding all in the Boston Market. Like, this video can be x-rated, so please close your ears or if this is not for you yeah this is not for you um i'm trying to remember some of the things that i'm going to be running pictures from day one and start one because my surgery actually was not even denied it was rescheduled because the first time i went um september 24th my blood pressure was so high they wouldn't touch me and i had got um went to my doctor or whatever and i had to end up getting on blood pressure pills and so they changed the date to october 15th shout out to uh liz my consultant on bello I mean, I would say her name, well, wrong, Deanna or Dina. Anyway, the office manager, she was amazing as well. Elena is, I mean, we're like best friends right now. Elena is my nurse. I text her every single day because it gives you the number um, to your nurse where you can text them, you can talk to them, you have questions and concerns because, bitch, I had so many concerns. I was so nervous. And that's another thing I loved about going to Santa Bello is because they had people that were there for you. I never felt like they just took my money which I'm still paying the hell on now. You can do care credit, you guys. So people that want to get surgery, not just from there, 
but a lot of places take care of credit. So if you have questions about that, then I will definitely um, help you. You just got to have some credit, some good credit, okay? Bloop. Um, so I got a mini tummy tuck. It is about uh, A-B-E-X. And what they did was they took my gut, my poop at the bottom, they cut it, and then they dropped it down, which means they had to move my belly button. And that's one of the new techniques. Not a lot of people have, well, I guess quite a few have had it now. But that started late September, I believe. And my doctor, Dr. Kaplan, was one of the first doctors to come up with this. So, go Dr. K. Dr. K was fly too, y'all. He was so fly. So, if you see this, Dr. K, um, Elena, and Dr. C too, shout out to y'all because y'all held me down. Y'all push my name a, a lot. So, I just want to say thank you guys. Thank you guys. And I can't wait to... Um, I can't wait for the future to see what the future holds and what it brings and for when I can talk about the future finally. All right, so light bow, tummy tuck, and I got my back rolls done. Um, they're still swollen as well. I get my lithotic massages. They recommend you get lithotic massages, about 10 of them um, or, or and more. The fall holiday they send you, send you home and it's like called stage one. And my ass was still so swollen that I had to end up putting pads in mine to make it tighter because then I was scared to get into the extra large because your girl ended up having an anxiety attack after having a lithotic massage. I was in the ER for seven hours. The scariest thing ever, but it's because of dehydration. It was nothing to do with my healing. Nothing. And I did think I was dying and having a heart attack, but it ended up being anxiety. So a part of me, and a lot of people don't talk about it, is once that um, lithotic massage and being dehydrated, once I had that, that put me on another scale of uh, uh, illness, which is called anxiety, which brings on stress and depression. So imagine going through all of that and still trying to heal and being on an emotional roller coaster because surgery is trauma to your body and you go through so, so much. I hope I'm looking at y'all because I got the light on and I can't really see. Um, but just listen to my words if I'm not looking at you. And I'm not cross eyed, I promise. Um, but it's just so scary to go through all those things. And I will tell you that there's nobody but the grace of God who brought me through. Of course, he had his on earth angels, my wife, my best friend, and my mom. All of which, except for D, my wife, had been through anxiety and they could help me. I never really understood everything before then, but it's been a journey, you guys. It's been such a journey. And I will say um, it slapped me back on working out and doing a lot of things because I had anxiety. Because I felt like I was over pushing myself. Um, but just know that mine's very powerful and there's, happy, there's help out there for people. Please don't go through this by yourself. Go through it alone because it's, it's a lot. Also, I will tell you, if you know me, um, you know, I'm anemic. And if you don't know, now you know. Being anemic, you want to make sure that you get your iron as high as you can. And I have some pills over there that I took. And I now take iron pills and vitamin C every single morning um, to get my iron numbers back up. Your ass will become dizzy like I did just for no reason. Well, I'm going to say for no reason. But you will become dizzy. Like, I became dizzy. I wasn't eating enough food. Um... So my, my motor was running and working extra harder and the food deplenished. So then that way it sends a signal to your head. The blood is not, and the oxygen is not flowing the way it needs to do. That's another thing that made me scared. So, or had me scared and nervous. So just make sure your iron is high where it needs to be. Don't try to go into there as a, a fat, fat weight. Like y'all know my heaviest weight was 250 and then I lost weight before surgery. And I went in at a steady weight of about 200 I wear a lot of shapewear. So you may think that I was smaller, but no, I wasn't. Even though I worked out every single dang on day, every morning, cold, snow, rain, I still went somewhere that had shelter and worked out. Um, going there would be in my, not only will that put you in a lower bracket and make your pricing cheaper, it will also make you healthier and help you already um, like get that start on when it comes to healing or whatever, you guys. So... This is a lifestyle. It's not a weight loss surgery. It's really not. And then another thing about Sunnabelle that I love is the guarantee. If you come in and you're not happy with your results in six months, you can get a revision and you just have to be under the weight that you were and you have to talk to your doctor because they have the initial final say. I don't care what I say, what the consultants say, the doctor has the final say, but that's pretty much the rules. Um, so make sure that you... You handle your business when it comes to that. They're going to do their part, but you have to do your part. And so many of my friends have had surgery. And for me, it was about, like I said, getting rid of the food. But I work out, I work out, I work out. I've lost the weight. But no matter how much working out I did, it would never be enough for me to, um, hey, babe. It would never be enough for me to get rid of that food. 
So therefore, I just went on and handled my business and got that thing sliced open. Um, again, you need help. You definitely need help. D was my ride or die that I could cry. Like the things that she went through, y'all. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's not for the faint in heart. What so never is not. Hold on, let me take another sip. Babe just walked in the house. Um, I'm trying to think of what else because. Again, I'm not ready to do this video. I'm not ready to show my results because I'm only two and a half months out. But like again, um, like I was saying, I have something coming up that's a huge offer for me. So I had to jump into it now. If you have any questions, comment below. Um, make sure the one thing is that you're wearing your faha and your shapewear. Don't go getting this surgery and then get pissed off at the doctor because your results are not what you wanted to do. Because the doctor did their part now. You got to do your part, honey. Okay, don't go out here trying to have your sexy body already. No, put your phones in if you need to wear phones. Keep going down within your faha. My next thing is I really, really, really need a waist trainer. And um, my boo brought me two and my ass is still so swollen that I cannot wear neither one. So I want to give me a Velcro one really, really, really bad. Um, and that way it won't indent and wouldn't roll over. I can fit it in and make it tight as I want. So I think for Christmas and my birthday is coming soon, January 3rd, like two weeks. Um... Excuse me, my birthday is coming, so hopefully I get some cash on me and I can get my own waist trainer. So that'll be exciting. Um, yeah, I, I really think that's it. I don't want to do a very, very long video, but I'm going to do a few more videos because this probably is long and there's so many pictures and stuff that I want to share with you guys. The blood is not for the faint heart. Um, you get pain medicine. I still got pain medicine left because you know your girl does not want to get addicted to medication. I love my marijuana, which is another thing. I haven't smoked since surgery. This is my first drink. Like you can have it like that following week or that week. Some people have it a day after surgery, but your body needs to heal. And I don't want to do anything or freak anything up when it comes to that. Um, you swell a lot in the afternoon onto the evening, so you need to watch what you eat. You will look six months pregnant. <laughs> I've never had kids, but I know what it looks like. And I'm like, damn, like I look bigger than I did before I got the surgery. But your body went through so much jabbing and jabbing and cutting and lymph nodes. I never knew about lymphatic system. Like, oh my goodness. I'm so like more health conscious now that I've had this surgery. Um, that is it's, it's crazy. So God made things happen, you guys. You have to grow through what you go through. I always say that. Um, I I think that's it. Make sure you do what you're supposed to do. Eat your food. Take your meds. Drink water, water, water. That's all I drink. Now you see the skin, right? Looks good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I take this much orange juice with my vitamins in the morning, and literally that's it. It's been nothing but water. So like I said, this little portion of juice. First time, I'm ready to give me a, a margarita with a sugar rim. So that's my drink, y'all. Um, and I haven't grown this weekend. I ate a little bad. And I just want to keep it real with y'all because I've been eating nothing but protein and veggies, protein and veggies. That's what you're supposed to do to feed your body to make it heal. But I've been so damn good. So good. So um, I'm going to get back on track. Yes, you can't fall off the wagon long. <laughs> and I still love eating my salads every day. Like, I'm a Caesar salad freak. I love Caesar salad. Like, I'm going to give me one today. Like, I got one yesterday. <laughs> I don't know, but, um, yeah. So, I'm going to toast to my, my adventure that I have coming up. Toast because I'm so happy. I'm down, like, 37 pounds. Um, God has totally blessed me through this journey. It's been a lot of downs, but it's been a lot of ups, and I've learned a lot of lessons. So, I'm, I'm grateful. It, I'm a human being, so it wasn't easy. Trust me. It was not easy. Had a lot of crying moments because you're emotional, um, Surgery is an emotional, emotional roller coaster. It just, it, it is. And if you're not ready for it, then please don't do it. If you're going to go out the country, I've been there too. Please do not go anywhere until you do your research. I did my research on Dr. Kaplan's, mm -hmm, and he's here in Virginia. So don't go anywhere and do anything. Get your hemo numbers up because you don't want your blood to drop and you don't want to be dizzy and be sick. And make sure you're getting your walking in. Um, the best thing that I can tell you guys is a go girl. It's a little pee funnel and for women. Um, that was the best thing. And the high top toilet stool was a good thing too. So helpful. No, honey, I don't need it. I got plenty of pictures. Thank you. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> oh, I love her. Okay. All right, you guys. Probably like a 20 minute video after I added pictures and other videos inside of this video. But... 
Thank you so much. Stay tuned. I will have a lot more information coming and you will be seeing me around more often. Never know where you're gonna see me. Stay tuned, you guys. It's your girl, Shatima R on my tummy tuck and lipo and back roll surgery. Bye. You taking one today, baby. Aww. Yeah, I just a teeny, teeny, silly one. You should show off for the camera. No, I'm trying to show off. <laughs>